hey guys jeff with uh tgc customs wanted to make a video today because we get quite a lot of questions when it comes to our custom head sculpts that we offer in the store uh i have myself personally have been customizing figures for really if you want to go back to when i was a kid and painting blood on gi joes i guess is i guess is in a sense is customizing but uh i would say doing them and actually you know creating them and selling them uh for probably over 20 years i have did just about any form of casting using anything from plastic injection to hand sculpting to digital sculpting to now the new you know scanning 3d printing just about anything uh, the technology now with the scanning and 3d printing is out of this world and it makes a lot of things a lot easier especially for somebody if you're just getting into customizing or you've been a customizer for a long time and always wanted that one figure but you know it was always missing the head sculpt or or, or whatever it is you know the likeness uh you know i would say in a couple of years with an iPhone or a Droid phone, you'll be able to get a good enough scan of your own face. You can do it now, and I have toyed around with it, but it just it's still just not quite there. The quality's not there yet, but it's getting there. But uh, what I want to talk to you today about and the questions that we get a lot are about, you know, will it fit this body? Will it fit that body? Why do you print one this way and one the other? We're going to kind of kind of answer some of those questions today i offer a lot of different head sculpts uh most of the ones i offer is either i bought the rights from the artist to do it or it is a sideshow probably statue or sculpture that i have personally obtained and and scanned um with a 3d scanner and now i'm creating a 3d printed sculpt of or it is a old cast that i have that was probably hydro shrunk from a uh hot toys or a one six scale down to fit a 112 scale that's uh that was what that was the main process for years and i still have a few of those casts that we cast from now and then and i offer them in the store most everything now is 3d printed just because of the price i can produce them cheaper which means i can sell them cheaper uh most everything we have in the store will require a little bit of modification and we're going to go over that today and, and, and show you hopefully answer that question of well i want to you know i want your mephisto head but i wanted to go on the new uh you know uh black adam surger uh the bad guy i can't think of his name anyway want to use his body want to use a build a figure body how can i ensure your head will fit this that and the other going to go over a few of those things uh we'll start right off here with uh this was an artist sculpture that uh that i acquired scanned into 3d this is venom from the venom movies with tom hardy gonna try to hold this thing up here where we get some detail uh but you can see the detail that the scanning uh can achieve the veins uh in the venom uh you know venom's body and as the symbiote takes over hardy or uh takes over eddie brock i guess i should say this is some of the detail we can get you know really really good detail to me pretty doggone good likeness from the sculptor uh you know this is uh it's one, one of the ways and a lot of our custom heads that we offer will be like this on the bottom it'll be solid i'll insert some pics here of how i cut them and drill them out to fit this can be dremeled out to fit you know any peg type if you want to permanently attach it with glue if you want to put it on a ball joint all those can be done you know via dremel tool uh a little bit of sanding as you can see here here you can see where our 3d printer if i can get that to focus all right leaves the support bit, uh bits behind where it's held while it's being printed that's what those little pieces are that's why i mentioned in the description that uh some sanding will be required for you to get it perfect uh you know i don't take the time to do all this because i know you're going to dremel it out anyway and some people may not want that dremeled off some people may want to add to that some people might want to take it off their own you know their own means they they just <laughs> i found out over the years customers are picky 
it's, it's, it's easier to leave it where they can do it how they want it uh, than me try to do it perfect for every individual buyer. So anyway, a lot of our heads will come like this, uh, solid on the bottom. Uh, this goes back to one of those figure I always wanted. Never could get the head sculpt for him, but now we can. Clint Eastwood or Blondie from the Good and Bad and the Ugly series. At that, to me, I, I love that movie growing up. Uh, kind of dating myself, but you know, now really good likeness. You know, really good likeness of Clint. Got the I don't know if he's getting in there, but you got the squint. I mean, it's it, it's there. You know, uh, back of the head on this one, the sports very minimal, very minimal cleanup to do anything to get this guy to fit on whatever body type you want you want to use them on uh all our ones you see in the background there all those are custom heads that i have made at some point or, or, and either attached onto the, you know the figure permanently or where it has articulation or however that's that's how they can look just about everything back there with the exception of duke i believe is a is a custom head either 3d printed or hydro shrunk down from a hot toys figure so you know they will fit on anything but uh let's see clint there's a good good example uh once again it has the bottom another figure which i know they're coming out now but for years you couldn't get a good figure of indiana jones harrison ford you know a little bit of cleanup will be you know needed for this one but also on the bottom have to cut a little bit away, dremel it out. It'll fit on anybody. Let's see. The ones that I do offer that have a peg hole or designed for a ball joint, I should say. Like Christopher Reeve here. It's Christopher Reeve from the Superman movies. All right, it's open. This may pop right on whatever body you're trying to use. It also may not pop right on whatever type of body like it will not fit a marvel legends i will tell you that this one was designed to fit a certain body type and for whatever reason i just it's easier to offer them to you guys where it can be manipulated to fit whatever body you need uh a lot of times and when you drill one out people's like oh well, what if i drill the hole too big then i've ruined the head no you hadn't just just add a little of a product called blue tack or sticky tack uh it's actually used for it's a uh, marketed towards teachers to hold posters on the wall stick a little bit of that in there boom the head will fit fine it'll be articul uh articulated you can turn and twist it uh, some of the figures that i have here in front of you are actually use that method this john wick is articulated it'll turn it's a little loose from going to cons and people picking it up and, and articulating it, but it works. Uh, it's drilled out probably just a hair too much. Little bit of blue tack, it'll fit right on the body that you want to use. And like I say, several of the figures that we offer do come that way. Uh, there's the Christopher Reeve, I know right offhand, uh, comes that way. I believe the uh, new Obi Wan sculpt that we offer. Uh, for the Obi-Wan series, um, Hawkman, here's Hawkman, I got him handy, I'll hold him up here, right, Hawkman Custom, if you're working on one of them, it's open in the bottom, you drill it out a little bit bigger, if you need it to be drilled out bigger, add a little blue tack if you need it to be smaller, uh, our Green Goblin here, very popular, sell a lot of these guys, a lot of people like the the old school green goblin uh head this is a scan of a statue you can see it's still got the post on it cut the post off dribble the neck out how you need to it'll fit on anything the green goblin custom over there that you see if i'm not mistaken is made from a magneto body and an armored daredevil the two customs put their two figures put together to make that so that helmet easily dremeled out to fit a marvel legend still has all its articulation uh another real popular one here we have and some of the the some of the other heads we have are this way too michael myers the original michael myers based on the original movie on the bottom 
It just has a pilot hole. Pilot hole for you to get started. A lot of these are scanned from a Hot Toys or a pre-existing product like a Sideshow collectible statue, something like that. They will either have the tab or the pre-drilled hole for you to get started. That's another way that we offer them. Like I said, uh, can be modified to fit anybody. The newest way that I'm doing them, which I'll show you real quick here, is like uh, I know everybody's upset that they didn't get the Haslab Ghost Rider and that 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 fiasco, the Robbie Reyes. Uh, and I think for me personally, I didn't care much about the car or Robbie Reyes. Like I say, I'm I'm a little bit older guy, but uh, Mephisto. Uh, figure was a was a loss and uh since then uh had a gentleman who digitally sculpted one we were able to get the rights on this one to print these guys and man i'll tell you this thing is awesome the route we went on this one since he is a bigger character and if you're going to build a custom you're probably going to use a bigger base body we decided to go hollow with it and let you add something versus taking away with a dremel a lot of people say, I don't want to use a Dremel. I don't know how to use a Dremel well, on this. Anybody can fill this up with a product like epoxy sculpt or even clay. I had a gentleman who just did one and I mean, awesome custom looked great, but his own words, he's not mechanically inclined. He didn't want to drill on it. He didn't want to do anything like that. Used clay. And he said for him, it works. He said, once it's painted and sitting on the, on the shelf, he doesn't do a lot with them. He said, may repose them once every, every six, eight months. He said, other than that, they, they just sit there. And he said, clay worked good for him. But we are doing something like that now where they're, they're more open on the bottom. We also have this, Keaton Batman, okay? Well, the way that costume was designed, you need the cowl and all. So, like, for this one, you would have to drill it out to where it would sit down on the shoulders of your figure. So keep that in mind on ones, uh, you know, it'll, it'll say in the description how it's going to come and what you'll need to do to it. But offer those like that. A lot of people who have been doing the custom, uh, green goblin with the William Defoe head, which is also off of a, a, a collectible statue. They're doing the same way as the Keaton. They're just hollowing it out to where it'll set directly down over the neck of the base figure they're using. So you can do that as well. Just wanted to show you guys today. Like I said, I hope that answers some of the questions that we get about the customs. I'm going to go in on this video and cut in some pictures and show you, uh, you know, where I make my cuts with a Dremel. I've got a couple of examples. We took some pictures of while we were doing one and uh, hopefully it'll make it a little easier to understand what we're, uh, what you're, what you're looking at doing the process to get it to fit on the figure that you want to use. And I don't know what, I'll quickly show the some of the masters of the universe ones here. Now this one's painted. Um, you know, we don't sell them painted, but uh the filmation style merman. Once a, once again, it's more like a pilot hole. You want this to fit an origins or a classic body, it will fit. It just has to be drilled out. Uh, you know, in most cases to fit down on the base body that you're more likely to use. I did have a guy who built a total custom merman with a Marvel Legends body. So he actually had to add a little to it. Point being, all these custom heads that we offer guys, you can make them fit just about any anybody that you want to use. Be it Mafex, be it Marvel Legends, be it DC, be it old toy biz, whatever you want to use. Most of these with a little bit of ingenuity, I can say a Dremel tool or a drill, uh, or... If it's in the case where you're adding something, you know, some epoxy sculpt, some clay, some green stuff, all the stuff that most customizers are going to know are readily available at Lowe's uh, or Michael's or Hobby Lobby that you can run out, get, and make these heads compatible with your figures. But anyway, just wanted to get some of that information out there. We're on Etsy. Check us out. Adding stuff all the time uh tgc customs we got you know guns weapons custom heads even total custom figures if you're looking for a custom figure i am back to taking commissions uh you know right now i'm 
pretty backed up on getting those done. We got several, several work that I'm working on, but if you're looking for that, or we offer the, the Kenner style 3d printed, uh, figures as well. Custom ones. Those are the ones that are nearest and dearest to my heart. Cause they're the ones that if that line would have continued when I was a child, I would have definitely kept buying them. And you know, it's uh, a lot of them trying to plug the holes on what would have been really cool if it had come out. I know Stan Solo and uh, some of the other guys out there in the customizing world are doing awesome job at that too. Um, and 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 they're really cool figures. I've got some of Stan's stuff. Well worth the money if that's what you want to spend. I'm just trying to give people maybe a little bit of a cheaper option, or if you're wanting a display piece, mine are mine are great for that. The 3D printing is great for that. If you're gonna leave it in the pack, set it up on the shelf. And say here, here's the uh, a figure I wish Kenner would have made, but they didn't. You know, same goes with your customs. I think most of us do it because, boy, I really would like to have a, a custom figure of that. Like for me, as bad as the movie was, I love Tommy Lee Jones. I wanted a Tommy Lee Jones Two Face. I wanted a Jim Carrey Riddler. And back in the day, the hydro shrinking and re-sculpting was the only process available to me. Now that things have changed, boy, I really want a Green Goblin. 3D print green goblin helmet, hooded Cobra Commander back there. Things that I really want now to go on my figures, a little bit easier, a little bit more affordable. And that's just kind of what I want to do. I want to make it to where you guys can, if you got an idea for a figure, you want it. If you don't see it in the, in the store, shoot me a, you know, an instant message or whatever. And, and, and I'll see if we can't get it done. Just did that. I'll show you this one one more before I go real quick. Guy just wanted to do this one went out he actually commissioned a sculptor to do it for him so i could print it for him it's clint eastwood again but he wanted the grand torino look and he wanted him bald to where he could add whatever kind of haircut that he wanted because you know, if you're going to make some clint eastwood customs um that man's still making movies and still making great movies so you know he's still he's still out there doing it so he can add whatever kind of hairdo he wants to this sculpt and it'll work for whatever but you know you can really see the detail in that thing i mean it turned out awesome anyway guys just wanted to get that information out there to you i know i'm probably getting repetitive get out of here check us out on etsy tgc customs have a great day